Welcome back Grizzlies for an exciting 2018-19 school year. It's my hope that after a fast and furious start in August, you're ready for an even more exciting September here at Northwest High. Hopefully you're adjusting to some of the changes and new initiatives that are part of the new school year. Alterations to the bell schedule and advocacy procedures are just some of the changes that are happening in 2018-2019. Two initiatives that are happening this year are Paint the Parking Lot and Grizzly Bucks. We had a great turnout on August 12th for Seniors Paint the Parking Lot Day. I couldn't believe the excitement and creativity that this day turned out to be. Great job, Seniors. Also new this year is the addition of Grizzly Bucks. As a school, we wanted an initiative that would help us to focus on our guidelines for success. The guidelines for success are to be prepared, prompt, polite, productive, positive, and proud. Get noticed following these guidelines and earn a Grizzly Buck. Grizzly Bucks can be used to purchase different things at Northwest High School. They can be used at bare necessities, for school dance tickets, concession stands at events, and other places where money is spent at Northwest. Sorry to say that vending machines do not accept Grizzly Bucks. As we continue for this school year, I just want to personally say thank you for getting off to a great start and I'm excited to see what's in store for the remainder of the 2018-19 school year. Back to you guys in the studio. Wow, what an exciting piece from our senior correspondent, Mr. Holdeman. Keep up the good work and we look forward to seeing more segments with you and the happenings of Northwest High School. Welcome to the show. We have much to cover today and I want to take this time to turn it over to our lead anchor, Ms. Steffes as she lays out the plan for the show. Thanks, Mr. Parks and Mr. Holdeman. On the agenda today, there are explanations regarding Cody and points totals, calendars, freshman elections, student of the month, a segment on homecoming, and so much more. At this point, every class should have a shirt, a class shirt that they should wear throughout the year. Please be mindful of when these shirts should be worn to help your class with earning more and more Cody points. At this time, we would like to send the program over to our calendar man and defending Cody Administrator Champion, Mr. Cotton. Thank you for the introduction, Ms. Steffes. You are right. We are the champions. Class of 2020 is the defending Cody champions, and we're looking forward to the challenge of defending our title against a lot of quality classes, especially the young group headed by Mr. Parks. Now, let's look at the September calendar. Northwest hosts an early ACT this year. It will, it will take place on Saturday, September 8th. Good luck, test takers. Two days will be allotted for yearbook pictures this year. Make it a point to look your best on September 17th and the 18th. Keep those smiles rolling as parent-teacher conferences will be upon us on split days in the middle of the month, Monday the 17th and Wednesday the 19th. Conferences will be from 4 to 7 p.m. Late in the month, September 24th, we will honor our students of the month with a cake celebration in the library. Follow our guidelines for success. Be prepared, be prompt, be polite, be productive, be positive, be proud. And you might just hear your name called for student of the month in September. My very own junior class will be looking forward to the night of September 26th. This is the biggest game of the year against the seniors in the annual Powder Puff football game. The seniors will have their annual hot dog roast beginning at 6 p.m. It will be a tough contest, but shouldn't be a problem for us. Last but not least, the homecoming dance on September 29th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Northwest. Don't forget to buy your date a corsage. Mr. Parks and Ms. Steffes, this is all we have from our busy calendar for Northwest. I will send it back to you guys at the desk. Does it ever end? The calendar at Northwest seems to be the busiest of all the city schools. Kudos to us for staying busy and wanting to be the best. I can't agree with you more. Speaking of homecoming, we'd like to take a break from our studio and send it out to our friends from the Student Senate to give you a breakdown for homecoming week. Out to you guys. Hey guys, it's Savannah, your sophomore vice president. I'm reporting live from room B4. Don't forget to buy tickets for our fall homecoming, Saturday, September 29th. You can purchase a ticket in front of Pupil Services during both lunches the week of homecoming. If you are bringing a guest from another school, remember to grab the, guests, the outside guest form from Pupil Services. Tickets are $10 until the 28th, but 15 at the door. 
Make sure to bring your ID to enter. The theme will be a night in Wonderland. For Spirit Week, Monday is PJ Day. Tuesday is Superhero Day. Wednesday is Deck the Falls, or Christmas in September. Thursday is the Circle of Life. Freshmen, your babies. Sophomore, toddlers. Juniors, adults. Good luck with that. Seniors are sitting your citizens. Friday is Frat Day for the Capon game. Back to you, Ms. Steffes. Thanks to our friends from the Student Senate. Great job. Closing out the show will be a visit from Mr. Creighton, who will cover this upcoming month's athletic events. Take it away, Mr. Creighton. Grizzly, this month is a busy month for athletics. Events pretty much every day. Soccer starting off the month by playing in the Titan Classic, starting on September the 3rd and concluding on September the 8th. Football has four total games for the month, with two of them on Thursdays and the remaining two on Fridays. As you heard earlier, the homecoming opponent is Cape and Mount Carmel on the 28th of September. Volleyball has three triangulars this month on Tuesdays and a number of Saturday contests as well. Tennis will be in action mostly on Mondays and Thursdays, with most of these contests being away. For home matches, it sure would be nice to see a strong contingent of Northwest fans. Get out and watch a cross-country race on Saturdays. You want the easiest sport to cheer for? Then cross-country is your sport. Get excited, show up, and cheer for Northwest. It is over in 30, 25 minutes. Mr. Creighton, reporting and now it is back to you guys in the studio. Well, that does it for us here for the September PSA. Thank you so much to our news crew, Mr. Holdeman, Ms. Steffes, Mr. Cotton, and Mr. Creighton. Stay classy, Northwest.